Wait, is the data changing time? Is that today? Oh, it is! Wait, doesn't that mean it's like two o'clock now? <laughs> no, wait, that does, that does not how it works. Oh, it will begin at 2 o'clock on um, tonight. And then it will change from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock. Oh. I didn't know that. So my, my, one of my clocks will be running correct again as of today. <laughs> That's good to know. I would probably completely fuck that up tomorrow. Um, but yes, you need this stuff. You are getting this stuff. We need to make 8,000 liter tanks. 8,000 liter tanks require... Oh, then we will probably be stopping soon, actually. Uh, because then it will be getting late pretty fast, suddenly. Do you really need these 8,000 liter tanks? Yes. 8,000 liter tanks also require 4,000 liter tanks. 4,000 liter tanks require nothing else. Good. And at any given time... 4,000 liter tanks. Where are they? I'm clicking everywhere. Here they are. Keep like 100 of these. And over here, same. 8,000 liter tanks. Keep also like 100 of these. And these aggiators. Keep back a uh, hundred of these. Connect you up at any given time. I do want some mixers, like a hundred of them. Uh, did I set this up? Yes. Well, that's not correct. That is. Good. Ah, uh, look at them all go. Fly little hot dogs. Uh, we probably have to send the uh, circuit train over once more. There's another 600 circuits for us. Get over here. Then... Um, that's the aluminum processing. Ball mail, electric arc furnace, and then we put it out in a casting unit. We have the casting units. Good. Enox? Okay, it says Enox. At some point, we also want to do the advanced tin processing. I'm just checking if we need to automate anything else that we need to make the advanced processes. The advanced glass. We are, I think, already making the pure sand uh, powdered quartz recipe. If not... That's not a problem. What's this? This is... Mi oh, God. Mibic is in there? Uh, olefin plants are probably required at some point, but not right now. Over here, do we need any one of these currently? Probably not. Ooh. Oh. That's a good one. Yeah, at some point, we will have to switch it up. Actually, let's do that already over here. Um, into belt factories. And then it's prepared for the future. Belt, belt, belt. Where is uh, the good old Elt? What's this? Dingrit pelt. There it is. And keep like a fast of these on hand. Copy. Paste. Paste. Oh, Church, good night. Thanks for sticking around. And thanks for uh, the raid. I should raid you again soon. But I kind of get the feeling that our timetables are not really aligned. 
So sadly, uh, I, I will take a look at the two rating you again soon. That's a high must. But then again, like I said, if it's going to turn like 2 o'clock at 3 o'clock, then we're probably also going to stop this soon. Also, I have no clue what my actual uptime is at the moment. Uh, because the stream, the stream did restart a couple times. So I think I'll be calling it a quits soon. Yeah, that's the uptime that's for the current stream. And uh, before that we were going an hour, before that we were going five hours, and so we're up to, I think, ten hours, maybe? Not quite sure. Could be, could be, could be. So, let's take a look at what we want to do. What I want to do is at least set everything up so that we can do the Red Coke recipe. For the Red Coke recipe, we need Quedrick Towers. Uh, we do still have them in our pocket. Um, and the amount of Quedrick Towers we have is probably the right amount of Quedrick Towers that we need. Um, so we're not going to automate these at the moment. They also produce even more coal dust. Add more of this stuff. Yeah, it feels like 11 hours. I mean, I usually do a 11 to 12 hour stream on Saturdays. And usually the stream on Saturdays only end after 12 hours because I'm still hung over from the day before. <laughs> You're missing boilers. Oh yes, because rocks are not in. Yeah, let's, let's at least set this thing up so everything is being made. Let's set up the rock station over here. So everyone can get everything. And then this thing will slowly produce things in the background for us. So this will not be Chris Bauer. This will be the stone uh, requester. I'm pretty sure we have the stone provider over there. We will also put in titanium. And maybe another one. Remove these for now. Perfect. And get rid of these trees, please. Place you. Place you. We may also as well make some of these signals up here at some point. But not today. Uh, we are out. And it still sounds like a sick dog. <laughs> yeah, we have nothing to pick up these yet. That's a bit annoying. What are we missing? Circuit boards. Gimme. First video was 11 hours ago. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. I think it'll be fine. Uh, power poles, that's probably something we have to place ourselves. Because we are currently not automating these and the blue inserters will be coming soon. Then you over here, you will be the uh, titanium requester. We will hook up the titanium line. Starchy, no, you will be... Actually, I have no clue what you are going to be. It's not going to be the melamine. Definitely not. So you're a free one for now. And then we need to make two more trains. Uh, no, actually, we have trains. We need the titanium only. And we also want to elongate uh, the... Wow, you're making nothing over here. Is it really because you're not getting your stuff in? Yes, it's only because you're getting your stuff not in. Where are the upgrade recipes? Uh, cargo size. They are blue signs. Okay. Now yeah, we definitely need to improve these. And the speed ones? Um, there they are. Also blue signs. Yeah, that's things we have to do. So, last things we're going to do for today. Well, first of all, we're going to pull the sea line over, flip that, so that we have a higher robot production, because we do need quite a lot of more robots. 
Uh, also, let's check the steel production real quick. I can actually already start it. By going like this. So, you will be going underground and you will be going off. Tomorrow the plan is blue pack. Like I said, we can technically already make blue packs. Once we have silver, we can make blue packs. However, we can't make them with the right recipe. We can only make them with the super expensive stupid recipe. Let's see, where is the steel line? The steel line is going down here, so we want to hook you up over... Let's just... Where is it? Where is, where is it there? This will work, this will work, then we will have to do some... Oh, this could barely work. So your input is over there. And then put you over there. I'm also nearly going for chemical packs. What do we actually need for the official making of them it should be in here there they are optical fiber nexolid alien samples oh yeah we need the more advanced circuit boards that's going to well then again once we have the more advanced circuit boards going for which we do need to make the basic circuit boards go a little bit faster currently we still have that scrummy setup we did at the beginning wow What's going on over here? Wasn't there like a st oh? Everything is going into there. Not because we're prioritizing that. Yeah, we may want to not prioritize it over there. But then again, there is quite a lot of stone coming in from over here, which is also being used, so that's fine. Yeah, the, the red circuits, that's going to be the hard part. But now that we are officially automating stuff better with robots, uh, things should be going way easier. Uh, should be fine. Get like half a chest of underground. Good. Um, do pick no engines we have. What are we missing for... Oh, titanium. We are still missing titanium. Not for the trains. For the trains, we're missing durolamine. That's the problem. That's in here. We need one train and two locos. Also, I think green science has completely backed up all the way to the top. Because the rubber is completely backing up. So I make two of these. We're making small parts in our pockets, but that's fine. I don't really care at the moment. We do need to pick up some copper. That should be fine. Then the titanium belt is actually empty. Which I wasn't expecting. Still, we only need... How many titanium bars? Two. So this is still enough for... No robots. <laughs> and there's another one in here. And then there's three in there. Yeah, place these in there so that you can make some more. Yeah, we need to flip the uh, steel belt. And how hard will this one be flipped? Like, absolute? Absolute. It would be so nice if we could have a command to flip belt and it would completely flip the thing up. Let's 
go. Oh yeah, I think this will just barely work. Oh yeah. Man, hooked you up. Why are you? Oh. That's probably why. Also, no wait, there should be more coming out. I don't think there has come any out yet. And the reason for that is we're not making enough steel, and the reason for that is we're not making enough coke. So, for the next one, Mega Mole, I'm going to complete it as done. Uh, we did make, make a better door. We still have to do these two things. Uh, make better coke. That's going to go in. Then next time, what we're also going to do is make better uh, duralumine. Duralumine, there it is. To do that, we do need to make uh, make better uh, copper. We need to make the liquid recipes also. Make better uh, aluminum. And duralumine should be after these. We can only make the duralumine once we make the copper and aluminum. Coke, yes. Um, we still have to fix the biomass setup because currently our chrome has run out. Uh, also, for recursion 2, I need 5 different types of packs. Um, I'm on 2, I have researched them, but not really the time and the energy to go for it. You do have to call it a rage quit. <laughs> yes. Feel the rage. I, I mean, yes, I'm so sorry for that. <laughs> Uh, power pool and a liquid automation has to be in there at some point. And we definitely have to make way more robots. Like, way more. What is this station? Oh, that's the small part. Oh, we do not need the small part station. We have omitted it. And I think the jaw crusher is waiting on engines. Yes, it is. So, the engine down here. The problem is not that he is not making them fast enough. The problem is he's not being supplied fast enough. And the problem for that is being all these robots doing everything they can except what they should be. Which is a bit annoying. So, let's wait. Why did I... Wait, what? That's the spirit. That's correct. Oh, yeah. Um, make real circuit factory. That's also something we'll have to do at some point. Assign it to be safe. Perfect. Then all of these go down, these go down. You are pretty much going the other way now. Which means... Ah, how do we do this then? Wait, 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 wait. So... No, 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 no. This is going this way. There it is. You're going this way. Then we need something over there. So... Do it this way. You're going down and in. You're going down and up for more spaghetti. And then put it in like that. And then flip it. I'm going to flip it all the way because I want the little bit of steel that we're making uh, up. Uh, wait, well, that was quickly wrong. Uh, the little bit of steel that we're making in almost there, yeah, another ground in there. No. That we're making for the uh, biomass, not the bio sample production. I want to have that go all in into bio samples. 
So flip this whole belt, flip everything. How high is the power saturation on power? Um, good. You have to keep in mind uh, of the theoretical maximum that we're making over here. We can only make, I think, 50% or so. So this is the critical part. Uh, we can't go past this. Oh. I did it again. There we go. But yeah, we will also have to make a better power plant at some point. Ah, that's going to be super annoying because we always need coke for everything. And again, if we are not making a tar-based power plant using uh, the coal gas, we would probably have a better time. Put it here around. That's already going to go correct direction. And at some point, we should hook it up. Where is it? Where is it? Oh. That was terrible. There we go. This is what I'm looking for. So then everything will be going into this thing up there. Uh, let's do it like this because it doesn't even ma really matter how it goes in. Good! So oh, that's the steel belt flipped. Let's take another look. At some point we will have to explore the south. Uh, good thing is we do have some forts over here. So if we get attacked from over here, say, and they walk over here, they will hit these two forts. So that's going to be fine. And they won't be walking over here. Oh, but we are triggering you. So maybe as the last thing we're going to do today, we are going to get rid of this Pythoness down here. And maybe even supply these with some more robots if there is more steel coming in. Which is probably not, but that should be fine. Let's take a quick check on pollution. Yeah, the part the spawner is producing. So we should kill that spawner real quick. So where is Crawdad? Crawdad sits... Where did I park him? It's not there. Oh, is he over there? He's over there. All the way in the steel foundry. But yeah, it was super fun today again. I'm really, really enjoying pilot dots. At the beginning, it was a bit hard and a bit complicated. I was already thinking big, but it seemed that I was still thinking not big enough. Yeah, I do like that we have this high power demand already. I mean, usually you in, in Bob's and Angels, we didn't have a that high power demand, but here it can really, really take off. All these machines, they all require so much power. Like, so much power. <laughs> Doom can't wait already. Uh, we're going to take the car. It's going to be a bit faster. Oh, actually, no, we're going to take the car to get to crawl that. Donk. Oh. Never mind. We're not going to take the car. Let's draw that. So, some bite to combat for the end. Also, we have two pineal bots. How many do we have sitting? 
ändern. But is it steel? It's steel because we're not getting enough steel in. Uh, we're not getting enough steel in because we're not getting enough coke in. We could help them out. Like a bit. By doing something like this. There we go. Make more steel. And then at least a little bit of steel will be coming down once these bleed through. Wait. Oh, they put it in as fuel. That's even stupider. Never mind. <laughs> Have a stream plan tomorrow? Uh, as I didn't know that uh, tomorrow will be daylight changing time. I can't really estimate when I'm going to wake up tomorrow. As I've already said, uh, tomorrow I have a dinner date or a dinner appointment um, where I have to go to. And I actually don't want to go to there, but I've been postponing it for the last two week, three weeks, always telling Corona, Corona, Corona. And now I finally have to go, so. Uh, might as well do it then. Um, so, depending on when I wake up tomorrow. If I wake up at, say, like 12 o'clock or something, then I can do a stream at 1 o'clock or 1 a.m. And then we can just have a nice five-hour remote stream where we can see what Randy Random has in, uh, in uh, prepared for us. But, however, if I wake up like at 3 uh, p.m. or something, then there will be a stream. So, check the Discord tomorrow. I will definitely be updating you on Discord tomorrow. Yeah, it's not a date. It's like, I have to meet my parents again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to, uh, those are things you have to do. You can't postpone them forever. Over there. Good. Now, these biters are finally gone. Did that nest down there spawn in you? No, it didn't. Sadly, now we don't have a nest anymore to check uh, our evolution level. Unless we walk by it. But we should be seeing big boys any minute now. We're on pollution level 0 0.89. I have no clue at which point we will get the huge ones. But they will come at some point. And you know, while we're, grad while we're at it, I'm just in the mood for some biter combat. It's very rare for me to be in the mood for biter combat. So, might as well make use of it. Well, ah, push through. There we go. And we are going to kill these ourselves. There we go. That's one down. That's another couple down. If I don't want to perceive with my outpost, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, the PC I have set up myself. Um, uh, you you don't hear it on the stream, which is really nice because I have a soundproof case, and that's really nice. Have. Well, you do hear it a little bit if you're really really paying attention. But I don't have to set up a noise gate. Uh, well, not a noise gate, but not a. Uh, a elaborate audio setup just to get the uh, fan sound down. Yeah, mine is also just mildly humming. You don't even, you won't even detect it if you're not paying attention on it. And the reason for that is I have a huge case. I have a big tower. As such, I could put in the biggest, um, the biggest cooling block I could find on the internet. It's 
almost at triple uh, the heat efficiency that's required for my computer for my processor. So the fan is almost running never, <laughs> which is super nice. Ah, I missed them. Come on, get eaten. Ah, again. There we go. Uh, let's check that one nest all the way in the south. We're going to keep the worms. The worms can stay. I don't care about the worms. Yeah, laptops do tend to be loud and hot. Good. Those are invicted. And let's invict these boys. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I think that nest is new. I just want to check if there are any new nests. Yes, there are quite a few new nests down here. If we want to migrate down here. And I'm pretty sure we do have to kill this nest because this nest is on the coastline and the pollution is going down the coastline. Missed them. Ah, let's get the spinners then. Oh, missed them also. Yeah, I'm gonna go pee. So it's. Where are you going? Where are you going? Three point turret. Ah, there we go. It could be, uh, wait, no, wait. This one. Reverse. I do love that Crawdad is so fast in reversing. Oop, three point turn. Again. Ah, it happened again. There we go. Question. Is this the thing? If I load them up with more items, we have more mass and more uh, punch to power. Because I do know that trains gain mass if they have more items stored. Would be fun. We do have, would have to accelerate more, but let's go top speed. What's my top speed? Like 103. Wait, it doesn't want to reload Factoria further than 40%, so if you boot it up, it does it stop or something? I'm not quite sure what's at the 40% mark, but it could be that it's trying to load or to, to create the bitmaps. And that it's having a problem with that. Have you tried setting your Factoria to low uh, graphics mode? then you should be able to load past 40%. Mm -hmm. I mean, modern factory graphics do require a better graphics card. They updated the graphics. Well, they are still updating the graphics, but most entities now have these high-res textures, and they do take quite a toll on your computer. And you do have to um, calculate them at the loading. 
I mean, I can show you what I mean shortly. Oop. Nah. It's not a problem with the operating system. I'm pretty sure it's a problem with the bitmaps. But then again, without taking a good look at it, I won't be able to tell a thing. It's just what I think it is. There we go. Hit this, hit that, perfect. Last two fuckers. And then we're going home. Oh, missed that. Missed him again. Come on. I want to go. Ah. There we go. Good. Clean up some biters. We're going to park him over at the, um, the mall. And we're going to dump some of our repair packs into the robot ports. Uh, let the robots repair him. I'm far too lazy to do that myself. Good. Well then, it's time to end the stream. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we, I am playing Factorio way too much. And I'm enjoying myself way too much with Factorio. Uh, I always enjoy every one of you having me. You having, uh, I'm really, really getting loopy. Yes, I'm definitely going to stop now. Mainly because of the loopiness. Here, have these. Sure, parts have been... Well, you don't have to take a look at it. Uh, the figure's nine years old. Yes. Well, nevertheless, um, I'm going to end it here. Uh, we did quite a bit today. Uh, we made the mall. We made stuff work again. We made this pollution mess. We fixed copper, as it was not going fast enough. Uh, we fixed tar. We did a lot of train working. And we made our belt a tribute belt. So we're now constantly using what we're producing, which is nice. But we do have to move and remake quite a lot of things. Nevertheless, that will be it for today. Uh, thanks for the shout out for Church Organist. He's not here again because he already went to bed. But Church Organist is also a Pinodon player. If you want to see more Pinodon, uh, we are going to continue this on Monday and on Tuesday and on Wednesday. And occasionally, like today, there will be a long Saturday stream. Um, if... We are going to do the 24-hour stream, which I will be researching tomorrow on next Friday. Then there will definitely be no stream on Saturday or Sunday. But that's the big if. We will see about that. Nevertheless, uh, if you like what you're enjoying... <laughs> I really like that uh, my nightbot made man.c a URL. Do we want to click it? I didn't do anything. Nevertheless, uh, if you like what you're seeing, please do leave a follow, a like, or maybe even drop a subscription. If you do not want to do anything of that, then just give the next person you see a big warm hug. I'm the Bolt Viking. I'm doing this mainly for my personal fun and for my personal progress. But then again, I am enjoying the hell out of it playing with all of you guys out there. So, I will be very busy after tomorrow though. Three test fucking teachers. Yeah. Also, like always, stay safe, stay uh, good at home, and if you do want to do something in the uh, quarantine, just watch my stream. <laughs> Nevertheless, thank you, and goodbye.